Because yesterday was a ish show. We ended up cutting our little staycation trip short, which was my fault because I got mad. It was a combination of things. But we just weren't having a great day. And, you know, I'm extra. So I was like, I'm done. I want to go home. I want to get Sarai. But we're okay now because we don't go to bed mad. And it was rough. But it was good because it needed to happen. And it was an opportunity for growth. That's at least how we take moments like that because they happen. And that's okay because everything happens on purpose. And if we're having like a big blow up fight about something, we know and understand that like God is trying to teach us something in that moment. And I think for me yesterday was a revelation of my own selfishness and God had to work on me with that. I just wasn't being the best partner to him and I had to like face that about myself because it's something that we all do. Like we all paint this like very nice picture of ourselves in our minds, but like we're not perfect. But today's a new day. We're good. He's making a smoothie right now. I didn't want a smoothie. I'm just having coffee and some toast and grapefruit, which I haven't even told y'all about how obsessed I've been with grapefruit while being pregnant this time. Like I literally eat at least a half or a whole grapefruit every day. I hated grapefruit <laughs> before being pregnant, but it actually has like so many health benefits. So I don't know between it actually tasting good to me now and like all the health benefits, I've just been eating it all, like all the time. The baby must love grapefruit. <laughs> I don't know, it's weird. My hair is now ready to be diffused. I'm just doing my hair because I got to get on this call and I got to do my makeup and get dressed, halfway dressed because you know, you only see this up. So I'll probably be wearing like some sweats or something underneath my top but yeah that's what we got to do okay so my hair is like 80 percent dry it's got a little bit of areas that aren't completely dry but because we're only gonna be on zoom basically this looks done enough i used living proof per usual all right these are like my go-to's i just really love this collection like yes i'm i'm working with them and so like some of the content that i do is sponsored but not all the content that i've shared about these products is sponsored like this ain't sponsored this is literally me using these products like in my daily life because they're the best stylers like these are definitely my favorite right now i use the curl elongator which is the richest styler in the collection it's a conditioning styler so this is going to give you the most moisture and basically i can use literally like a dime size for each section and mix it with the gel which is going to give me hold so these two together are so good and also like my my brain is on living proof right now because i'm about to do this panel is for them for um their uk team so that's what we about to do i gotta do my makeup finish my breakfast and hop on <music> So I am now just hooking up all of my things. So this is like what my front looks like. So I actually have been using my like actual DSLR camera when I'm getting on like Zoom instead of using the camera on my computer. It's just like way better quality. and just looks so professional. And so this is like what I usually use for my lights. I have a big window right here. So when it's sunny out like today, I use the light that's coming from here. But if it's not sunny, I'll use this light right here i got this light from amazon they don't have them on amazon anymore and i don't even know what the name is because i randomly got this after seeing another youtuber use it it's basically a dupe for a way more expensive light but yeah so sorry i don't have a link or anything to share for this light because it's not even available on on amazon anymore but this light i'll put the information down below for this light here it's an octabox this is what i've been using primarily for shooting um filming it's a 
really, really amazing light and just like helps balance everything so well. So yeah, so I've got my computer here. I've got a little cord set up here. And so basically I connect this cord to my camera, which connects to my computer screen. And then I can see what I look like on obviously the screen here. But yeah, using this camera here and I can show y'all what the quality looks like. So just FYI, I was about to show y'all the quality of this and like everything. And then I realized I was supposed to be on camera like 30 minutes before I was planning to. So we about to get started with this thing. But yeah, I was like, ooh, let me hurry up and hop on. My manager was like texting me, texting Mark, like, is Jade ready, is Jade ready? I'm like, ah, yes I am. I'm over here messing around with this camera. So we about to just use the Zoom camera and call it a day today because we ain't got time. But while we get started, let me eat the rest of my grapefruit. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Thank you to everyone that's joined us. Thank you. Today. Happy to be here. Thank you, Jay. Thank you so much. So, um, I mean, we've got Errol Douglas in the house. Guys, <laughs> it's, not, it's not very often that you get to have such an amazing expert like Errol. Talk about Drake. Talk about Drake. Talk about Drake. Talk about Drake. We're talking about how Scary Hours Drop, it's only three three songs, but the level of like, just this is This is the greatness. way I put it. This is the way I put it. You don't get to a place where Drake is musically or in any way every single day in all ways. Like there's no room for half weighing it. You know what I mean? Like, because people who are really like that, like a Drake, like a Beyonce, like a Rihanna, they don't have more time than we do. They just expect so much of themselves. And it's consistency. I always say Nike had this dope line that we only used in running, but I'm going to use in the brand in some way to like change it. But it's basically, there is no finish line. So like, I've never arrived. God has never worked, Completed but like, he's going to continue you, yeah. Yes, like that we was ain't complete the job until um, we not here no yeah, more. What's the scripture? Um, the work that I've begun in you will continue, or like something like that. Uh, but basically, saying that like he's gonna finish the work, so like you just keep going and keep giving right, your best. Truly. And stay like consistent you'll never be one hundred percent. You exactly. have to have God. Exactly. You can't reach so like your Drake, greatest potential without that. Do you know where <laughs> my mind goes even further with this? This is why it's so important to understand your purpose because. Whether you like it or not, something is going to take priority in your life. And if you know what your purpose is based on what God says, then you're going to live a worthwhile life. And you're going to reach heights that no other thing could get you to. What happens is, is most people get distracted and think that something is their purpose because somebody else is doing it. Or because it, feel, it or because feels, it feels good. good. In moment, but in all stuff. actuality, that's not what God told you to do. So yeah, you might have success in that thing over there, but you'll never get the success that you would have got if you listen to the spirit and listen and do what that tells you. And people think just because God is still blessing me that that's what I'm supposed to be. But like God also continued to bless Saul like some like 40 years after he wasn't gonna be king. God didn't just take it from him because he was disobedient. He still allowed him to be blessed in the process, but it ended in demise because Sorry. I can't speak for anyone else, but we have made the choice. As for me in my house. Right. <laughs> this is how we choose to live. Yeah. We do this I, with a with an understanding that it's going to be hard, that we're yeah. gonna feel uncomfortable, that we're gonna get exposed and we're going to experience some things that are undesirable. And we're gonna need each other. Like God also gave us each other because he already knows the journey. And that's the thing. When you go the route with God, he always gives you support. You know something is going right when randomly things work out really well. Randomly. Somehow, some way you get through situations or you end up getting things that you like, I really don't deserve this. How did I get to this place? I really shouldn't be here. Really I should be over there with them because I was doing the same things they were doing, but your heart was different. So even though you doing the same things that are the things that we shouldn't be doing as Christians, your heart was different though. You actually were remorseful. You were you feeling you understood love, that you yeah. were lost. Like right. you understood that right. like I'm doing this, but I know this ain't the right. Right. Thing. And just like, understand. Yeah, like 
honoring that understanding is like, okay, maybe you're at a point where you know what you're doing is wrong. You don't have the will right today to stop it, but your heart is changing. Barbara said it's the people that think they actually doing what they're supposed to be doing or think that their way is really the right way. Those are the ones that are the most locked. They think they know. They know when in all actuality, none of us really know. None anything. of us know <laughs> Like we do especially compared to what God knows. Like we yeah. don't really know nothing. Faith is grown by your realization that I'm nothing without you, God. That's like how your faith grows. Like that's what Jesus was saying. It's not about the size of your faith. Like, oh, my faith is the biggest thing ever. No, your faith is in how much lower you put yourself and your own abilities compared to God's. That's when your faith can grow. And that's when like great things actually happen for you. So pretty. You already got good taste, girl. They're so cute. The OG, they go everything. But these are funner. Oh, those are cute. Those are cute, mama. There you go. She gonna love you. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Woo, mama. Like those shoes? Mommy, Daddy. You want your other new shoes too? Mm -hmm. <laughs>